Welcome to 5 Minute Yoga with me, Josephine, and my spiritual guide, Julian. Um, oh. And um, let's get into it. So I want to teach you a somatic practice, practice, meaning you focus on your body. And this is really good if you're a beginner or if you're an advanced practitioner alike. So we start in... Um, a child's pose. So if you're not comfortable in your child pose, try taking your knees wider and you can also try to place something in between your thighs and your calves to raise your bum up a bit. And then stretch your arms forward, take your forehead. If, if it doesn't reach all the way down to the floor, that's fine. Just take it towards the floor and just move your hips a bit from side to side so that you sort of ease yourself into the pose. And press your hands down so that your elbows are lifted. And then we move into a side stretch. So I'm moving over to um, the left, taking the left hand for support and stretching the right hand. And so that I can feel into the, uh, my entire right side all the way from the hip to the tip of the pinky finger. So take a moment here and see if you can sort of get a sense for the entire length of the side of your body and gently stretch it out. And then coming back into center and over to the other side. So now I'm using the right hand for support, stretching the left hand away and lengthening through the side of the body all the way from the hip through the waist, the side of the ribs, the armpit, the arm, the hand feel into that entire length and then come back to center and roll up to sit and come to all fours and here make a few circles with your hips so imagine you're circling your hips around your knees and you can choose if you want to tuck your toes under if you want to keep your feet flat it um, usually it depends on how it how you feel in your knees. I think it's more comfortable for the knees to tuck my toes under. But it depends and circle in both directions if you haven't. And then from here start walking your hands back. So we come into a squat and um, maybe your squat position if you have a trouble squatting you'll be something like this. And if you can't keep your heels down that's fine. Use your hands for support but keep moving. So shift weight from side to side, shift, shift weight from foot to foot, adjust your feet. Maybe you want to have your toes pointing slightly out um, and taking your feet a bit wider and then keep shifting weight from foot to foot, whether you are here or whether you are here. doesn't really matter. It's your squat. And then uh, start strengthening through your legs. So they don't have to be straight or they shouldn't be straight. They should be slightly bent, but maybe you will be here. Like this is also fine. Just try to lift your bum up towards the ceiling and uh, head down towards the floor. And then make circles with your knees. So imagine you want to circle your knees around your ankles in both directions. Uh, Use your hands for support. If the floor is far away, use something like a yoga block or whatever you have lying around to lift it up a bit. And then come, place your hands on your knees. Lift your chest, lift your bum. So we make a few cat cows standing in this position. So round the back and then lift your bum, lift your chest. Oh, round your back. Lift your chest, lift your seat and round to come back. Now take your feet a little bit wider, toes pointing out so you can come into your squat again and keep moving your squat from side to side. Make your way back into your child's pose. And stay there and take a few breaths, a really deep inhalation and a really long relaxed exhalation and then we have to go and entertain the baby and that's it for this
really short yoga break. I hope you enjoyed it and see you again soon. Bye.